My name is Christopher Eppling. I work professionally as an illustrator and a cartoonist. Since 2010, I've illustrated over 13 books for various publishers from St. Augustine, Florida to Kentucky. I live in Eastern Kentucky, where I also conduct workshops within schools across the state and tri-state area. The workshop started up in 2013. Well, there's two basic workshops. Uh, this is a sequential art workshop that encompasses grades 8 uh, through 12. And then the cartooning workshop is really geared more towards students first grade up to seventh. So what happens during the workshops, uh, both either one, a, a school contacts me. We talk about what has to happen before I come. There's uh, options for residency, which is a week-long visit, all the way down to one-day visits. Sometimes I've went to schools and I've only worked with the gifted and talented folks. Sometimes I've went to schools and I've worked with an entire grade, or two grades, or three grades. The workshop's there to serve for the school's needs. The workshop can be done in a library setting where the students are cycled into the library each, each period, or it can be conducted where I go to different classrooms each period. We talk about story building. We talk about the elements of writing, building a story. Um, the really interesting thing that happens is that during the process of students taking um, a written story and putting those into pictures is they have to be decisive. So what they're doing really, and they don't even understand it, and this goes all the way down to middle schoolers, is they're working with these you know, advanced elements of writing and, and they don't even realize it. One really exciting thing that's come from the sequential art workshop and the cartooning workshop is uh, something that KVEC uh, initiated. This was called the um, Young Student Author Entrepreneurial Project. Uh, we conducted this eight-week program where students would follow the exact steps on what they need to create at the end either a um, picture book, a chapter book, or even a graphic novel. So at the end of this uh, eight-week program, students turned in work from 17 counties, with hundreds of submissions, and 10 students were selected to be published. Students were given um, a certain quantity of books uh, at their first book signing, which was held at the Expo Center in Pottville. And um, students created things like bookmarkers, uh, business cards, logos for their work. Now one shining example of this, and really where the idea for this originated, was a student in Breathitt County that I worked with. His name's Ted Hudson. Now the school contacted me. He already had his story together. Noah's Ark is Ted's um, adaptation of the biblical story of Noah. All of the illustrations are Ted's. Ted went on to win the National Yes I Can Award. He's also started his own company. I provided the um, um, Kentucky Academic Standards for English and Language Arts, um, Standard 2 and 3, an overview created by Carol Mullins at KVAC. Um, she put this together showing how the workshop meets these two standards. And not only does it meet it, it, it absolutely just it blows it out of the water. Every element of this workshop matches um, uh, the standard completely. Educators can see how the workshop meets certain standards. You know, th these workshops are cross studies and classes. So, so we can go into a social studies class and we can conduct a writing experiment. They pick an event in history that, they, that they're interested in. Uh, even in science, so we could talk about you know, the division of cells and show those in images and talk about it in writing within an assignment, a writing assignment. It's absolutely multi-useful across so many different dimensions within academics. Uh, what I enjoy most about the workshop and conducting the workshop in schools really is seeing how each and every visit is unique and different. Working with students and seeing them become engaged within something that before they weren't, and seeing that transformation from, I don't get this, I'm not interested, to, you know what, I can do this, and I get it, and I can see it. That change that happens, it to me is just the greatest part of going to schools and conducting these workshops. My goal for this really is that the, the educators will watch this video that I'm sending out, this packet, and they'll say, you know, we, we really need this in our schools. We'd like to bring this workshop to our schools. And no matter the duration or type of visit, um, because the students benefit from it. And it's been proven over and over time again. The testimonials on my website, tons of testimonials from principals all over the state. These educators are saying this, this workshop is beneficial to the students. So I hope that educators will watch this. They'll want to contact me, reach out to me, um, because it works and I would not take the time if it wasn't important for the students. But this has grown so that, you know, it would be almost um, 
and neglectful of me to not offer this to schools.